Hi, it's Louise, Louise Tan Stokes from the Anti-Dieting Revolution. And this week I wanted to talk about why now is the time. Now is the time to ditch dieting forever. Now is the time to get started on working towards your health goals, whatever they are, um, whether you're trying to eat better, get fitter, lose weight, feel better about yourself. Now is the time because there really is no time like the present. You know, um, you know, the old saying is that, you know, um, best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. Next best time is now. It's the same with making changes. Now is the time. So this is for you. If you find yourself um, every time you want to make changes, every time you want to um, get to your your goal you, you just you keep putting off the diet until Monday um, and then you spend the weekend um, having that last supper you know where you eat all the things that you think I'm not going to be allowed to eat these things again and um, so I'm going to just completely binge on them now and then you clear out all your cupboards before you go on the diet and you make it this really big thing in your head and it feels like a really big thing. Maybe you're quite motivated, you're feeling quite excited, enthusiastic about it to start off with, um, but it doesn't last. And the thing is, is when you're doing that, you're trying to change too much, okay? Um, for a start, I'd say forget going on a diet, forget following some kind of plan. Um, you're making it too hard for yourself. Um, if you think that you've got to do it all perfectly, then you're setting yourself up to fail. Um, life is always going to throw challenges at you, okay? And um, when it comes to reaching your health goals, whether it's about eating better, getting fitter, losing weight, whatever your goal is, it all comes back to your habits, okay? And habits take time to, to learn, you need to practice your habits over and over again. It takes time to keep um, practicing them in, until they become um, new habits. OK, and um, the sooner that you get started, the easier it gets, because the, the, the more that you practice, the easier it gets. So, you know, it makes sense. You, you the sooner you get started, the more practice you're going to get. Whereas the opposite is true. If you just keep putting it off and um, if you keep putting off making changes to your eating habits, or your exercising habits, the more that you put it off, the harder it gets, um, especially the more that you build it up in your head. So there really is no time like the present, okay? And I have three tips for you to have a think about um, to help you to, to just do it, okay? To get started um, on eating better and building healthy habits and keeping it going forever, because it's all about doing it forever as well. So first of all, keep it simple. I'm all about keeping it simple. You know, if you make it hard for yourself, you're just going to find it too difficult. So focus on how you could tweak your current eating habits. Instead of thinking, I've got to follow some kind of big, drastic, different plan. I've got to do everything differently because my entire diet is wrong. Forget that kind of mentality and just think about how could I just tweak what I'm normally doing now, what would be the one change, the one little change that I could make that would improve things um, and make a big difference, but be small enough and easy enough for me to keep going and build as a, a new habit? So it wouldn't feel like I'm doing anything too drastic. So um, your, your best tweak is the one that's easy enough to get started on, but will make enough of a difference. OK, so what's your first step? Just keep it simple. Little tweaks. They're the best way. They really do add up over time. The second thing to think about is be mindful of your eating habits. So be honest with yourself about how you actually eat, what you actually eat, how much you eat. And be 100% honest with yourself because then you'll, you'll, you'll know what you need to change. If you don't know what you need to change, you don't know what you're doing, you're going to struggle. Um, but do that without judgment, you know, ditch any judgment about what you're doing, you know, beating yourself up doesn't help you. So be be really honest with um, with yourself about how you're eating um, and then you can start to look at, you know, the, the those tweaks that you could make. And then the third thing I want you to have a think about is figure out 
what are the issues that you're struggling with? You know, be, be um, honest with yourself about what's really getting in the way. Is it that you're not really motivated? You don't have good enough reasons to make changes? Or is it that you're, you know, you're struggling with comfort eating and you need to find a solution for that? Be honest with yourself about what you're actually struggling with. Um, again, you, you know, there's no need to beat yourself up about any of it. Um, but instead of focusing on the problems, look for the solutions. And obviously, this is something that I can help you with. Um, either, you know, go and check out more of my blog posts, more of my videos, um, or get in touch if you want um, my support. So just to recap then, keep it simple. Just make it easier for yourself. Be mindful about your eating habits and um, be honest with yourself about what you're doing so then you know what you can change. And then figure out what the issues are, but look for the solutions because it's all about, I wanted, I wanted to say fixing the problems, but that makes it sound like you're broken. You're not broken. You're not wrong. You're not doing anything wrong, but it's about looking for how you can help yourself. Okay. And it is 100% time to ditch dieting forever because you absolutely deserve better. Take care and I'll see you soon.